Welcome to Books Alive Storytime. Hi, I am Miss Owl. Let's see, what story the magic chest have for us today? Oh, but don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories. The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, in a sunny, bright land, there lived three little pigs, oh, they were grand. Out of their parents' home, they hatched a clever plan. To build their own house, yes, they began. I want to build fast so we can play all day. I want a sturdier home so you both should come along. A home has to be strong no matter how long it takes. They couldn't decide together, oh no, what a shame. The first little pig went on his way to build a house fast so he could play. He said, I'll build my house very cozy and neat. With straw from the fields, it'll be light and sweet. So straw by straw, he built his small home. A straw house was cozy, but not very strong. The walls so thin and roof so light, but he thought that would be safe any day and night. The second little pig was not the one to lack. He said, I'll build a strong house and then I'll get back. He chose sticks from the forest, long and sturdy, to build his house without sweat and worries. With the sticks, he toiled and worked so fast. His house a sturdy one, but built to last. Strong and firm, it stood on the ground. He thought it'd keep away any danger from around. But now, third little pig was wise and strong. He knew straw and sticks wouldn't last for too long. He chose bricks and mortar, sturdy and tough, to build a house that could stand any huff and puff. With bricks and mortar, he built his lair, a house so sturdy that no one would dare. It stood so strong and wouldn't sway, no wind could blow it even if it lasts all day. The three little pigs, each in their place, finished their houses with a smiling face. The first with straw, the second with sticks, the third with bricks. But these houses, do they have grip? In the forest lived a wolf. He was quite sly. He was strong and fast with hunger in his eye. He heard about the pigs and their houses so grand. He wanted a quick meal, so a pork feast was the plan. The wolf approached the first little pig's lair. With a huff and a puff, he gave it a dare. The straw house wobbled, oh what a fright, and it tumbled down in the broad daylight. The little pig was scared and ran away fast to the second little pig's house in at last. The wolf was determined, he followed the scent. At the door of a stick house, he was in, in a moment. With a huff, and a puff, the wolf gave it a blow. The stick house trembled, ready to fall. It collapsed in no time. The pigs were scared. Run, little pigs, run faster, don't you dare. The wolf chased them down with hunger in his eyes. The little pigs running, running for their lives. They reached the third pig's house, so strong and tall. The wolf wouldn't blow, there was no doubt at all. He huffed and puff with all his might but the brick house stood that was such a sight the wolf was tired with nothing to gain the three little pigs were safe free from any pain now the two little pigs in their brother's brick house celebrated their victory somehow they danced and they sang with hearts full of cheer for the sturdy brick house had kept them safe and clear so the lesson we learn from the pig so small is to work hard and build strong and tall. With determination, courage and might, you can overcome anything, day or night. And in the end, it's not about size, but the strength within that's the real prize. The three little pigs, where their houses so true, showed us all what determination can do. Now, children, remember this tale so bold as you grow up and you start to unfold. With a heart full of courage like the pigs, be wise. 
and build your dreams strong, reaching for the skies. Congratulations! You stayed until the end of the story. It was incredible. I hope you liked as much as I did. Now, I have some questions for you. Are you ready? What was your favorite part? I love that! Who was the main character? Well done! What happened on the story? That is right! What did we learn in the end? Brilliant! You are a great listener. Now don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.